welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen, and today I'm making a fun soap. I have made this type of soap before. I'm gonna make Planet Earth Bars. And uh, for the fragrance, let's talk about that first, get it out of the way. I'm gonna use black linen and amber. First of all, I think this is a very unisex scent and it's earthy and I just think it really goes along with the theme of the soap that we're doing today. It says it doesn't cause any issues. I read all the reviews on it when I got it, Nature's Garden, obviously, that's where this is from. Uh, so it got great reviews. I haven't soaked with it before, but I really think the reviews, when you go on a fragrance site, um, I read all the reviews, or not all of them, but a lot of them, and uh, they're very helpful. So based on that, this is the fragrance. So the, first, so the first thing I need to do on day one is make my earths. Uh, I'll get those poured in the mold, and today, look it off to the side, I gotta grab my molds here to show you. I'm gonna do two different Planet Earth bars. I just really wanted to do something different. So, what I normally do is I have this PVC, I think this is a two and a half inch pipe, or maybe a two inch pipe. My husband just cut these in nice lengths for me, and I line them with a flexible cutting board that I have cut down to size for easy unmolding. And uh, this is what I will fill with um, my earth colors, and we'll get to those in a second. So I'm gonna do those in one mold, and then I wanted to do hearts, because we love the earth, right? It's our home everywhere, globally. Love the earth. And I have these gorgeous large heart molds from Brambleberry. And so I'm gonna do some circle earths for a round earth, and I'm gonna do some heart earths. I'll pour the same colors in here. So I'm gonna make a big batch of soap to do all of these embed molds. And then on the second day, we'll come in and I'm going to do just activated charcoal for like a space sky surrounding the earth. So the second day is kind of a simple pour. The first day is the fun day when we're getting the embed portion made. So this fragrance says it doesn't cause discoloration. I'll be doing an aloe vera juice lye solution and that doesn't cause much discoloration. So I might do a touch of tea to do the in the pot swirl to make my earths. And so when you look at a globe from space, the majority of it is either cloudy white or blue because that's the most of the earth is covered in the ocean. And to represent the blue part, I'm gonna use my matte cobalt blue from Wholesale Supplies Plus. This is, a, this is an ultramarine powder and it's a very like true, no glitz and glitter, just straight up blue. It's beautiful. And then for the green portion, the land masses on our earth, I'm gonna use my matte woodland green pigment. So those two, along with the uncolored portion, we'll do in the pot swirl, and when we pour the earth, it's really cool. Like each bar is different looking. It's, it just makes a really beautiful, like represent the earth globe sort of a thing. So that's day one. And, uh, and then day two, we'll come in, lay those embeds down, get it poured, the whole process. I have made um, just the round planet earth soaps in previous videos and I'll leave a link down below if you want to see those ones also but today I want to do the heart ones just for fun why not let's try it so I need to get everything pulled together and we'll come back for day one and make our earth embeds and uh, let's get everything going to make these planet earth bars All right, we're back for soap additives time on our earth little earth embeds that we're going to be making and I wanted to read the scent description to you it smells so good and I do have the fragrance already in the oils here top notes of fresh cotton and ozone, middle notes of white blossoms, and base notes of cashmere, amber, musk, and patchouli. It's so good, what a great combination. Truly it is. So let's uh, get our dry additives mixed in here and then uh, we will come back with our aloe vera lye solution. But first we've gotta get this blended up. I'm gonna do two tablespoons of my kale and clay as per usual, and two tablespoons of colloidal oats. And I like to get this blended and let it kind of sit and absorb for a good few minutes so it really binds into the oils and is nice and smooth. All right, we're back to make soap. Here is my aloe vera lye solution that has 50% aloe vera juice, 50% distilled water. It has cane sugar to help the lather. It has tussa silk fibers because I love it. It just makes a really glossy, um, silky feeling lather. And I have sodium lactate to help with unmolding. It hardens the bar a little bit quicker in the mold. So let me show you how I did my PVC molds here. I've got my flexible liner in here. And what I did was I took this little ramekin and I just put a teeniest little bit, like one cube of melt and pour, melted it, 
put this down and it makes a watertight seal for no leakage. And then I have my big hearts in a big pitcher here to pour in. You want something to you know stabilize. This little ramekin holds these, it's heavy. It holds them nice and sturdy. This pitcher holds this nice and sturdy. You don't want any of those column molds to tip over when they're full of raw, wet soap batter. That would be a total mess. Ask me how I know. <laughs> so time to get on to soap. I have my colors prepped and off to the side we're going to do our blue for the sky, our green for the land mass, and a little bit of titanium dioxide for some floaty clouds and kind of, you know, atmospheric vibe. And we'll do an in-the-pot swirl and get these poured up. This is day one, so here we go. Let's pour our lye solution right on in here and I'm going to get up to a nice light trace, emulsion and light trace, and then we will stick blend each color to a good thickness. I don't want this to be too muddied because I want the colors to stay, you know, separate with just a little bit of blending, but it also has to be pourable to go all the way down in the column mold. So there's kind of a fine line we're going for. It's the next day and it's time to get these out of the mold and then we will get to our activated charcoal night sky to surround our earths. So let's get these out. We've got the embeds all unmolded and off to the side, ready to go. It's time to do our soap additives in here, and I'm going to go ahead and add my activated charcoal right into the oil since the whole sky surrounding our earths is going to be black. Um, so first, let's do our colloidal oats and our kale and clay like I normally do. The fragrance is already in here, and yesterday when I mixed it up, it was a nice, slow-moving fragrance, zero issues at all, and it smells fantastic. So that's all good. All right, activated charcoal is a mess to work with, but it's so worth it because it's wonderful for your skin. It's not only this gorgeous dark color, but it is very skin friendly. There we go. All right, let's get this all blended up so we can get moving on. We're back with our aloe vera lye solution here. Same as yesterday when we poured these in the mold, 
Aren't those cute, those swirls? Check that out. So these hearts are a bit bigger, the diameter. They're almost as wide as one of my bars. So they're gonna be a very tight fit down in the mold. I'm really hoping when I split the logs, I don't lop off too much of the heart in between the loaves. So I wanna get this up to a relatively medium trace so that these embeds will float. I don't want them to sink all the way down in the bottom. Um, the good news is activated charcoal does speed things along, uh, but this is a slow moving fragrance. So we will see how long I have to stick blend for. We won't know till we do it. it smells so good. So we're just gonna get this blended up, get those embeds floated, and I think I'm just gonna do a super simple top, just maybe a gentle scoop, if anything. We're back it's the next day and this is how I had these sitting overnight no blanket I just put the wooden lid on the top um, and I don't have a lot of soda ash I think they look great so I'm not gonna go ahead and steam these I'm just gonna let them ride because I think they look beautiful boy those hearts were a really tight fit in here and I'm hoping that I don't lop off too much it's gonna be really close but there's only one way to find out we've got to get in here and see what's going on the inside, so let's get to it. back with the lovely Olga and as you saw in the log splitting I did have some floating embeds this one did not so let's cut in this is the first round one let's cut in here and see how we did <laughs> oh mercy mercy all right let's get into this first loaf and see 
how our little earths came out. Oh, they're going to be so cute. Look at that. I mean, that's what I was going for. Okay, so I'm very concerned about the one that got cut off on the edge, but I love this. That is so cute and uh, everything I wanted it to be. And each of the little globes is going to be different in all of these, you know, within the pot swirl. It's random, which I love. The colors muddied up a little. This is a very slow moving fragrance. So that is fantastic if you have an intricate pattern to do, but uh, it muddied up. I should have waited a little bit longer before I poured it, did my in the pot swirl. High in sight, right? I still think these are fabulous. All right, let's get on to that next loaf and see what we've got going on over there. Okay, so my embed floated. I've got a little bit of the side here. I'm not sure how much of that circle we have. There's only one way to find out. We've got to get in here. Ah, that is such a bother to me that that happened, but you know, we're going to roll with it. Okay, definitely, <laughs> definitely has an earth and a half. I think it's still kind of groovy looking and look at that beautiful. That one looks like a good globe. I like it. Huh, that is a bugger for me. Oh, well, you know, there's nothing I can do about it. I still think they're adorable. So we're just gonna roll with it. Yeah, the heart one is gonna be interesting too because that one I also sliced. So let's keep cutting these round ones here and then we will get on to our heart. Gosh, <laughs> I, I'm speechless. I don't know. It is what it is, right? I'm trying to be positive. That bugs me to no end, but hey, we're gonna roll with it. All right, here's the final round loaf. Let's see how much of that circle is left and how these ones look. You know, adventures in soap making, right? You never know. Okay, well, I mean, it's a bummer that it got cut off, but I think the theme comes through. You know, it is what it is. And I am very happy with my little earths. I think they are, um, I think they represent. All right, let's move on to our heart earths here. And this is the one that didn't break through. So we'll start with that. Let's start with something positive, right? I think how I'm gonna handle these in the soap shop when I put them up for sale is I will probably have the ones that didn't come out perfect at a discount and the rest will be. Oh, it's sideways. <laughs> I wasn't sure how much it turned. That's adorable. <laughs> I had no idea it turned all the way sideways. That cracks me up. Aw, I like it. Well, this has definitely been adventures in soap making today. <laughs> I don't know why that just cracks me up that they're on their side like that. Oh, but they are pretty, aren't they? It's kind of fun. Well, you know, this is artisan handmade soaping. A little unpredictable, a lot of fun. There it is. All right, let's get on to the next loaves which have the, the uh, cutoff in it and see what we've got over there. It's, it's truth time, I gotta deal, I kind of am postponing it, but it's time, we gotta go cut those loaves. All right, here is the middle loaf and I'm curious to see what part of the heart got cut off on that. Oh boy. Well, I hope you guys are enjoying the video. <laughs> this is, yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of bummed, I gotta be honest. I was really, had higher hopes. Oh, that's okay. So these had their little shoulder cut off, but they're kind of, this was kind of more the angle I was going for. So I'm really happy about that. I do love the colors. I think the earth theme is coming through. So yeah, I'm not mad at this one. It's okay. Well, let's get into that last loaf and see how the double, double cutoff looks. All right, here is that last heart loaf. See what we got going here on the inside. It's like a little surprise, you never quite know. All 
right. Oh, wow. It didn't cut off that much. Okay. Well, that's interesting looking. But there's the hearts, and it's sideways again. Ha! Huh. I don't know what's up with that. Oh, the colors came out pretty. Well, it wasn't exactly what I was hoping for. But you know what? These are lovely bars. And again, Activated Charcoal has some really awesome skin, you know, benefits. I think it's fabulous ingredient in soap. And it looks kind of stunning. I think it's beautiful. Also, with Activated Charcoal, I would not use a white washcloth with this. It will rinse out in your wash, but um, it can, you know, rub off on things. So I would use a darker washcloth if I was going to use this with a cloth. Oh, golly. You win some, you lose some. I thank you so much for joining me today. This was fun to make. Um, you know, I might give another crack at it and see if I can line up the embeds a little bit better. But you know, it is what it is. And I think it's kind of pretty. And uh, yeah, it smells fantastic. I will say that. So thank you so much for joining me today. And I hope that you have a wonderful day.